for the Azer. So the Azer basically pushes this cultist out of the way. And as he's running towards you, Graven, you can just see the fire in his eyes, and the his hair is just cackling. And l I think I actually have a uh, an image that I can show you of of what this uh, ah this thing looks like. Love so fire, I have a question. <laughs> fire coming off of his weapon. His hair. Would yes. I know if he qualifies as an elemental or not? Give me. It's a... Graven from last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After me, all of his clothes burned off. I would Precisely. say probably a a history check with like the other planes and whatnot. All right. Um, I would say probably a history yeah. check. And what are what are you trying to uh ascertain? I just want to figure out this check. I don't know if he's an elemental or not. Go for it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. You know that he, he definitely. You remember he he speaks uh, the Ingan language. Uh, he also uh, is has a little bit of a. He has immune to fire. You know that poison probably won't affect him either. And okay. uh, yeah, and and you know that uh, uh, they are hell of a hell of a good fighter, and they do a lot, and they can you know do a lot of fire damage too as well as as the flaming hammer. Uh, in front of you, that's swinging on you, uh, tells yeah. you. Yeah. So, okay. you, but you definitely know that they're an elemental. They are definitely an elemental. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yep, cool. Yep. Yep. To answer your question, plan. lastly. So. All right. So it swings on you, Graven, as it yells out, <laughs> and it comes down, and it smashes on you with an 18, and it says, "Imix, give me the power!" Crunch, and he hits you. Now you're going to take some damage, of course. Alright, so this is the damage you're going to take as he's using it one-handed. You're going to take a total Ouch. of 10 damage, so you are heavily wounded, this thing. This is a culmination oh. of, both, of both bludgeoning damage and fire damage. Alright, let's do it. Okay. So that's it for the uh, for the Azer. Now the cultist uh, cultist moves up, steps on the body of the other cultist, and is going to attack uh, Gildan. This thing is going to reach bring across, it, bring it. try to attack you. Slashes at you with a scimitar, and it hits you with a fourteen. He brought it. Bring it a and little he less. Slashes you for, <laughs> he slashes you for a <laughs> minimum of two damage. Next cultist. He is moving up beside the Azer. They are attacking in force. They are slashing. This guy is slashing at Draven as well with the scimitar. And wow, he hits Draven again. Is this going to be the end of Draven? Draven takes a minimum damage of one. So Draven is still up. Cultist. We've got a couple more cultists in the back. There, mm -hmm. it looks like they've almost got this uh, this poor human unshackled from this, as you guys can see. We start yelling back to him, Resist! Resist! Or you'll get turned into an Azer! <laughs> Turn into a fiend! You are up, Graven. Um, Alright. This is not working out well for me. Uh, so... I thought you had a plan. Uh, I did have a plan, and there's a whole <laughs> bunch of guys in front of my plan right now. Uh -oh. uh, so, Graven is going to... There's a freaking Azer in front of him. Graven is going to go ahead, uh, and he is going to cast... Um, protection from Evil and Good on himself. Okay. So now... Um... Mr. I'm an Elemental has disadvantage to attack me. Okay, yeah, I wanted to... Sorry about that. I was messing with uh, the thing there. We were switching it back and forth from prepare to combat. So th that's what it does in, in 5e is it uh, disadvantage on attack rolls and it's one willing creature. You put it on the... You put it on the Azer. No, put it on me. Oh, you put it... Okay, you put it on you, so... 
Yeah, yeah. So basically, what it does is it says. Uh, yeah, it puts it on you. Okay, okay, I got it. Yeah. Creatures of those types have a disadvantage on attack rolls against a target. Okay. I also can't be charmed or frightened by him, although I am actually very frightened by him right now. Okay. <laughs> and then you have advantage on any new saving throw against uh, that relevant against, uh, effect. Yeah. So, stuff. all right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So I, I like cast that, that uh, and uh, I am essentially. Uh, that's done. That's it. I have standard action. Um, I, I can't really move without provoking opportunity attacks from uh, uh, his friends. Do you um, have a, uh, a spell effect you can put on yourself? I just did. Yeah, it's, it, he's concentrating as well, so if you take any damage, yeah. of course you're going to have to, you know, but if you're not getting hit and you're not taking damage, I mean, you're basically in, in you know, basically defense mode. So I mean, in fantasy nice. grounds... Does he have a fancy grounds effect he can drop on? Oh, uh, protection oh, 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 oh. from good and evil. Is I there think, something in you, there? I don't recall if that one's automated or not. Yeah, no, it's there, there. There is. Um, yeah. Can I target myself? Yep. You just drop that you on yourself. It. Or is it? I think you shift. There you go. Well, yeah. There you go. There you go. You got it. So you just drag and, and drop uh, yeah. that right on you. And it'll give you any. So, I won't have to hit the disadvantage button or anything. Cool. All right. Done. Um, uh, I'm going to chill it here uh, and hopefully not get killed. <laughs> All right. So, Ravia, now as as you're in here, as you're looking inside of the chamber and you can see every, you know, as you're fighting, you can also see that Ravia is starting to struggle and looks like they've got this this person freed from the shackles. And they're struggling. This this guy, you know, this is this guy is actually pretty big. Now that he stands up, he's probably some some type of uh, almost he he almost looks like a Goliath or something like that. But as this thing stands up, uh, they're struggling with him, but they're actually able to pull him uh, almost almost halfway. And then you know they'll have to start a, the process, of course. Uh, so that's Revia's turn. Now let's go next to Gildan. You're up. Mm, I'm gonna drop the uh, short bow, pull out the uh, the whip, and uh, I guess I'll try to clear the way here with. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Maybe Azer. So I'm gonna try to whip across over or to the side of uh, Graven. See if I can hit the uh, the Azer. So would that be uh, minus two? It will be. It will be, yep. Okay. And there's my whip. Nice hit, 22. Uh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hot. Yeah, that's a nice shot, man. Nine damage. All right, the Azer, he just kind of flinches a little bit. You can tell it's definitely hurt him, but he just kind uh, of uh, shakes it off. Rawr. And the the, his, yeah. the the head of the hammer just glows a little bit brighter, a little bit more flame, you know, just starts to protrude from the from the hammer itself. And I'm gonna throw a taunt at uh, at the cultist that's right next to me and be like, oh, "Is that all you got there?" He says, "I've I've already hit you once. I'm gonna hit you again with Miss Scimitar, mate." And he goes to slash at you again. So he'll he'll do that when it comes to his turn. Your mother stinks of Vettel Betty's. <laughs> All right, Curly O. The photo was a hamster. Just spew another ball of acid on this guy, or on this cultist. All right. It, his saving throw is successful, and, and and your acid spray kind of comes back and splashes on on both Atticus and Gildan. But no damage, of course, but uh, you know, it does <laughs> kind of splash back on them a little bit. All right, so anything else for you? Any movement, anything like that? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I'm good way back here. So the Azer, he, he, takes his, he takes this shield that he has, and he says, ah, to hell with the shield, and he slings the shield. And now he takes his war hammer, and he's using it two-handed. And he just I... rears back. What's that? I got skipped over, but I was going to oh, uh, no, go reach trying. over and uh, pat Graven on the back. Keep up the good work and heal him. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
I think we probably double clicked the next actor thing. I think I, I clicked it as well, so sorry about that, Atticus. Gotta get okay. that heal on, on Graven for sure. Yeah, before the Azer goes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, before the Azer goes crazy. Look at Graven, he's getting close to the screen. Is this thing gonna hit me? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. He has disadvantage, so I have high hopes. All right, so you get back nine. You get back nine health from the as uh, Atticus kind of gropes you a little bit, and you feel this <laughs> warming <laughs> slap on the ass. Go get him! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I can't fight a good fight unless I've had a grope in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So you feel this soothing, warm sensation come over you. As you, you know, right, feel right like on. more rejuvenated now, you get back as he gropes you. I don't know why I said that, but don't get used he's to got that. the five foot reach around. Usually, usually my healers, they always say I grope my target and I, I embrace him and stuff. So that's why I just I said that. Too good. Oh, All right. So the 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 answer, he takes his shield and he says, "Ah, oh, to hell with this." And he takes the shield and he throws it. And as he throws it, it, it kind of sticks into the stone wall and sparks fly off. Shing! And then he takes his hammer oh. and he says, Ah, with the power of, of Imex, uh, Dwarf, you're yawning once too many times! And he takes his hammer and he overhand smashes right on Graven. We'll see if he, uh, if he hits Graven. Come uh, on, disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Disadvantage. Thank goodness. He misses. That's right. As the hammer misses, it smashes on the concrete. Spiderweb cracks it. Flames shoot everywhere. And he just kind of gives you the tilted look. And he says, I thought I, I would have hit anything with that swing. So he swings yeah, again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> swings again. Yo, yo, weed parts light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next, we're going to... The cultist. Cultist, the one that you've been goading the entire time, uh, Gildan, he attacks you with the scimitar again. He hits you again, and he slashes you for, wow, he slashes you for six more damage. You're hurt, you're hurt pretty, uh, pretty badly now. Uh, he's not going anywhere. The cultist that is adjacent to Graven, uh, he attacks with his scimitar, of course, with disadvantage. Uh, but he hits! With disadvantage, he still sneaks past the defenses of the dwarf. Now, let's do some damage. He does max damage of 7. Now, you have to do a concentration check, and it'll be the DC 10, because that's the higher of the two. It's either DC 10 or Graven. half damage. All right. Uh, now, you still have... Um, you have an inspiration. inspiration. Would you like to use your uh, inspiration? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> advantage. And a concentration check, I believe, is basically a constitution it is. check, yeah? Yep, concentration, concentration check. Save. Yep, yep. Concentrate, uh, constitution <laughs> saving throw, and it is a, a DC 10 you're needing to beat. That's on your main tab, too. But yeah. for a dwarf, it's not a problem. Got you have it. A, you know, you have enough That's right. You're going to have to fortitude. do better than that. Yeah, it, it, you're able to, you know, withstand the blow. And you, you are still able to maintain concentration with your, uh, with your spell. All right, so next we're going to the cultist over here. And, and this cultist is, is helping Revia pull this Goliath to the Iron Maiden. They want to stick this thing. Because now you can hear Revia saying, Pre Prepare the Iron Maiden! Prepare the, prepare the rituals! Get the incenses! We need to create another one of these beasts! All right, so Graven, you're up now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I'm gonna attack the Acer. Okay. Let's see here. I just lost my map. <laughs> so okay, here it is. I'll share it for you again. There you go. Sorry, right, I'm just gonna do this. You can uh, always so find those maps whoop. too by going to the images and maps button on the. Oh right yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know where yeah, it is. I was just. On. Just, just a little case. bit, no, um, no. and uh, we will also be double handling the, oh, uh, the old double hammer fister. because double yeah, handling, double handling it. That's right. Little inside it's a double grope. <laughs> <laughs> the double grope. 
Nice hit. Smash. Bam. Versatile. Nice. 1d10 nice. damage. Nine more damage to the Azer. Very nice. That's right. Only got to apply it, though. You need to drag it over to the Azer. Yep. I got it. There it is. Cool. Yeah, you you know uh, also Chris when you're when you're doing your attacks and stuff instead of doing the the control target, you know the control click, you can also take the the attack and just drop it on the Azer and it'll yeah, automatically yeah, yeah. do that too. Totes. No problem. Next time I'll just kill your character outright. Next time you That's cool. it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. He's trying already. No worries. All right. Light him on fire or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for Graven. Nice damage. Eventually, I'm into that fire stuff, man. Pulling this thing, pulling this Goliath towards the Iron Maiden. Looks like they'll be ready to start that next round. So, All yeah. right, up to the top of the round. We are in round four now. Gildan, you're up. Or just, yeah, this is round four. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... That guy's getting on my nerves. Cultist is, but the He's Azer is definitely ass, the big one. The bigger threat. I'm like, I'm gonna come back to you in a minute, punk. But for now, I'm gonna try to take out Mr. Azer here. So I'll try the whip again. Come on. Oh That's darn! Nice. Doesn't have his shield either. All right. So I'm gonna disengage and then uh, with my cunning action and then try to lure Cultus one back here again. Okay. You gonna you what are you gonna talk smack to him or something like that? Talk smack. Yeah. Let's see. Your mother it's smells like me. Oh. <laughs> Curlio, you're up. <laughs> what what Atticus say he's not going back there? <laughs> he's gonna attack me now. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> He has uh, cover, so I'm fly that to him. And then Why would I I'm take two attacks of opportunity? That that cultist isn't stupid. <laughs> <He's not dumb. laughs> and he succeeds again. <laughs> yep, he is a. I see Jesus. more acid at Atticus and Graven. <laughs> more be, at Atticus. I'd be okay. burning spell slots, Curly, if I was you. I, I don't really have any attack spells. I mean, I've got one slot left. I can do the fog thing again. That's about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, man. So do you guys ever did? I, I could catch him just at the edge. You know? you know what? Honestly, I think you are probably... Well, I can't even believe you didn't take Firebolt. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, that's because my, my deal is acid. There's very few yeah. acids. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's uh, interesting. All right, so Curlio, any other movement? Go ahead and take it. We'll go to Atticus. Okay, uh, so we're going to find out what the staff does. And I'm going to use Inspiration to make sure I hit this guy at the same time. Okay. So... And I still miss. Yeah, it was a, a, a horrible, horrible attempt. You swing, he, you know, he, he ducks, the staff smashes up against the wall... You know, you smash some rubble. You know, part of the uh, the wall actually kind of shatters a little bit, and nothing nothing happens. It misses. All right. Uh, any other movements? Would you like to take a, an attack of opportunity or anything? I'm trying. You got to give me credit at least. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm drawing one head attack away. Graven, uh, it is now you're up, and now you've got uh, three cultists in front of you. I, I like it. This okay. this uh. Azer, he you know he's I don't know what happened last time, and he kind of uh kind of pivots over this way, trying to uh, so just, you know, take advantage of the line of sight because he's just been, a reminder when, mm -hmm. when I cast that protection from evil and good, mm -hmm. um it triggered my arcane ward because I'm an abjurer, mm -hmm. and so I actually have like seven hit points on that shield that's on that protection from evil and good that's around me. Yeah, temporary. So he actually hits right? me; those will go away before my, my actual hit points do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can add temporary hit points now uh, on the combat. Well, I have tracker. no idea how to do okay. that. Yeah, on the combat I don't think tracker. It's temporary hit points. It's tracker. Com combat it's tracker. Oh, he he can't add him. You can add him. He can add an uh, an action to his character sheet, or I can help add it. No. Yeah, the, I put seventeen temporary hit points up there for you. So there, oh, there's seven. a. Just, 
Just seven. Oh, it's seven? Okay. There you go. You got a little... I was thinking, I'm like, yeah. man, seven. Don't want to cheat. <laughs> seems a little high for uh, D&D, but, but hey. I, no, no, I just seven. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right, so... Azer kind of shifts out of the line of sight of everyone else. You can still see him, Atticus, but Curlioa and Gildan, you two lose uh, sight of him, but you can still see that uh, down on the other side of the chamber, they're still moving this Goliath over to the Iron Maiden to put him into this thing and create another but larger Azer. All right, so this thing, he attacks you with his Warhammer again, Graven, with disadvantage and the disadvantage misses with an 11 versus AC. This thing is wondering what the heck is going on, uh, why he's not able to uh, to hit you. That's, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> this thing is Put the 10 hit points on the Azer. Oh, I did, didn't I? Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, cultist. Um, let's see. You know what? This thing does move. Uh, it does move here, and and as it moves there, it uh, kind of hmm, turns towards Atticus and then gives you your your wishes, and then it attacks you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm an easy it's target. Not, it's Come not going to be Come that. On. He's not that dumb. He's just not going to ignore it. I mean, it's not like he's a bloodthirsty barbarian raging or anything like that. So, all right. So he does hit you. And he's going to give you some slashing damage, which is going to be a total of three, which is not too bad. Uh, the yeah, next could have cultist, eh, could have. Yeah, you've already taken. Oh wow, yeah, he could have a couple more damage. Maybe All James right. can hit it with the acid splash finally. <laughs> <laughs> cultist attacks Graven, disadvantage, misses very badly. All right, so this cultist. And Ravia, they start to get this guy to the Iron Maiden and that platform. Graven, you're up. Mm. Right. Yeah, I don't like that one um, bit. They're still struggling trying to get him in, though. So, Mr. Azer. Do you want some of this? Huh? Huh? Come and get some. All right. Yes. Get some. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so Craven peels back with his warhammer and says, "All right, well here it comes," <laughs> and he slugs him oh, for nice. Wow, very eleven nice. points of damage. Right, Suck so, it, you big so flaming fairy! I'll add the eleven more points of damage. To this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. fought in sprites that were tougher than you. Yeah, he's in pretty bad shape now. He's got several, you know, several pretty bad wounds. He's starting to stagger around a little bit. He says, I, I'm still going to, you're still going to meet your maker, and your new maker is Imix. All right, that's it for <laughs> Raven. Ravia, now they've got, between Ravia and this cultist, they've, they're they starting to jam this this Goliath, you know, and she's, you know, she's, beating him with this blackjack to get this thing in there, and he's all, all cowering, not wanting to get in there, and, you know, they're trying to push him in. Now, next, uh, Gildan, you're up. Round hmm. five. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and move through Atticus to there. Sure. And... I'm going to try to attack the Azer. No, you know what? I'm going to disengage. The cultist that you... The cultist that uh, you I can't disengage there, yeah. ...has been hurt pretty badly. I know. I keep hoping that somebody can do the one or two points of damage left to, <laughs> to kill him off. Uh, I'm going to go for the Azer again. So, okay. um, All right. Do it. I'm trying to kill him. They're doing off. more damage. They they are actually. <sighs> Doesn't matter miss. anyways. So miss uh, and, and yeah, I guess that's it. I'll stay there. Curly Ella, what say you? Okay. Uh, no cover. I'm you got this guy. And yeah, no cover this time. I I spew out another ball of acid at this guy. <laughs> and it's successful, right? Ah. 
<laughs> yeah, I just might walk up there and punch him. <laughs> just walk up and punch him, yeah. I think that's what you did the last time when you started hitting Curly, huh? I know okay. Atticus did that too at one point. He just just ran in the sort of it and then. We're gonna try the staff again. Well, because I don't have any choices, but. Okay. And oh uh, yeah. That's lucky nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, guys. It's you bad. guys are rolling it's really bad. bad right now. All right, Yay, so it's right the TPK. <laughs> Attacks Graven, disadvantage, a hit with a 20. That's what I was trying to avoid. Let's see. So, Graven, you're going to take uh, some damage, and we're going to add... What? We're gonna. Oh my gosh! Look at all those dice that came up with a thirty-one d six fire damage. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> oh yeah. That is yeah, not that's, right. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Are you joking? And, yeah, yes. Yeah, that. that is definitely, <laughs> I, I gotta change this really quick. He, no, he resisted. He got zero d six. <laughs> all right. I feel so like I'm getting see. picked on here. I mean. <laughs> 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 What's a little 31d6 fire damage amongst, you know, friends? Among second level characters? Yeah. <laughs> Cultus turns towards uh, Gildan, the guy that you were goading. Yeah. He attacks. He slashes with his. Say, oh my gosh! Hits. He's on fire. And he does max damage. You go down. Oh my gosh. Down goes Gildan. This guy takes you out. And then he starts laughing. He says, <laughs> He's been on death's door the whole time. I should have killed him, probably. I yeah. thought Curlioa and Atticus would have surely be able to get him. All right. Yeah, I thought so, too, about three rolls ago. Cultus slashes out at Grayman. Disadvantage. Hitting with disadvantage. <laughs> this is not looking great. <laughs> Graven goes down. That's uh, looking decidedly bad. Mm. Two down. Graven is down now. Yeah. I got one more potion. <laughs> All right. Time for a nap. Cultist number five. They're 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 getting this. Looks like they're almost getting this thing in. Graven, <laughs> your your first uh, death saving throw is a success. Gildan, your first is a one, a critical oh, fall. You've got ouch. two. Oh, you are so lucky because I almost kicked you with that cultist to give you one for the road. I almost <laughs> did that. That would have killed you right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So you've got two strikes. There's Gildan, still a chance. There's fall. still a there chance. There's still a chance. Curlyella. Okay, so who should I give it to, Gildan or? Uh, I don't think you can get really either, give any of us. Yeah. Just but kill the move, dude that's Kill Cultist us. One, please. I can move through your guys' squares. I'm going to use my inspiration so that I have advantage on this. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter on that. So you still have your. You still have that. So he fails the saving throw. But the Cultist does die. I mean, even if you you rolled minimum damage, which you I didn't. Slow. Yeah, he goes down. So the first cultist, he goes down as Finally. he's basically gurgling poison as he as he or acid as he just dies. I'm gonna move up. Okay, to I I step over and feed a potion to Grave. Okay. <laughs> oh, you come too though. You're not a, you know, you're at four hit points again, which is good. You've come to, and you, <laughs> you have, you have Atticus hovering over you, and you're feeling that same. So that effect warm, should be gone. Sensation. Yep, I've got to take that off of you. Although the arcane ward, even though it doesn't have any hit points on it right now, is still up. It won't make a difference because it's spells I can cast to boost it back up again, but still there. So, um, cool. All right, Graven, you're back up. You've got four health. I'm uh, lying there like I'm not, by the way. <laughs> kind of faking it. All right, Curlyoa. Let's see. Uh, yes. Atticus. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. 
All right. So the the Azer is uh, it's the Azer's turn now. Atticus fed the potion 